Hello, all of our teenagers. So today, I want to share with you about one of the most. Today, I want to share with you about one of the most, if not the most, important characteristics that we can have, and this characteristic is love. Love. When I say the word love, what is what what comes to your mind? It can be relationships. It can be your relations with others. And it can be your relationship with yourself. You can love yourself. You can love other people, and you can love God. But I want to get a little bit deeper into this. So, what is love really, and what does it mean to love? To answer this question, I want to go back to the Bible, and I want to read the famous one Corinthians thirteen. And a part in this, in the few verses that I want to read, and then I want to go on from that. So I want to read、um, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 8, which says, "Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered." It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. So these verses make it pretty clear on what is love, and. Honestly, I can't think of any area in life that these verses does not touch on. So it's great. Now we know the definition of love. We know what what the acts of love that we do. But how do we know if we do it? This little cool trick that I learned a long time ago was to take these verses and instead of using the word love, you put your name in there. So for me, it could be. Clarit is patient. Clarit is kind. Clarit does not envy. Those things, and although it sounds pretty cool, because it's like you know I'm patient and I'm kind, but that is actually a good way to measure where are you. And if any of those are true, well done. If any of those are not, let's work on that. So working on that, we all want to be good people. We want to love. We want to serve, and we want to do all these things that are on these, this list. Isn't that right? But the problem is, many times we try to do these things on the list out of our own. We think, okay, I'm gonna try really hard. So this week, I'm gonna focus on doing this and this and this, and I'm gonna change myself. I'm gonna change myself to be more loving. And truth is, although that is nice, that's not the answer. Because I can promise you, you doing it out of your own strength isn't gonna last. You're gonna start, you're gonna fail, you're gonna be discouraged, and you're gonna feel like a failure. So the answer isn't to go and strive really hard to be different and to be loving. The answer is God. It's as simple as that. We can go back to God and say, God, I know I need to change. I know I get impatient. I know I get frustrated. I know I keep a list of wrongs of people, of what people has done to me. I know these things, and I really want to change. Lord, will you please help me? Lord, will you change me? I know I cannot do it in my own. I know you're the only one that can strengthen me and that can help me. That is the key. In any other way, we're gonna fail. But doing that, we give God it. We give God our problem, and it's not that oh we sit back and do nothing. We, yeah, we have to do our part. We have to see, identify. Okay, I am being very impatient right now. I'm gonna choose to be patient. But that is a partnership with God. The Christian life is about partnering with God. Nothing that we do, we can do on our own. We're nothing without Him. So the the answer is, we need God. God is the answer. So spend time with Him, spend time in His Word, spend time in His presence, because that is where we're gonna be changed. We're gonna transform more into the character of God the more we are in His presence. 
So let's strive after that. Let's go, not striving after other things. Let's strive after God, the heart of God, because ultimately when we do that, we win. In no other way can we win. So I want to encourage you with this. If you want to be more loving, go look at those things. Identify what are my strong points, what are my weak points. And then, then go to God and say, God, I need you to help me. Please help me. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you next week.